Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to a very quick tip tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to change the colour of something that you don't want, like keying out. Uh, for instance, I am going to do this uh, tent thing here. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to change the colour of that in uh, Premiere Pro. Now this will only work in the latest version of CC 2015. So if you have got the previous versions, please upgrade. So you have this feature. So I've cut my clip where I want to change. I'm going to come into color. And here we've got our new Lumetri color settings. And I'm simply going to close your RGB curves. Um, and I'm going to open up uh, HSL secondary, which is a new feature um, within uh, Premiere Pro. Um, I'm going to get my dabber. And then I'm going to select on the clip that I want to change. And then if you look down here, um, I can click on that. I'm going to change it to a white over black. And then what I can do, guys, is I can play around with the keying of that. So I can just bring that right here. I'm just going to play around with the keying until I get the white uh, that I want. Hopefully we get that nice. And this is just an example. This is all about fiddling around as well, uh, guys. So remember that. So I'm just going to go down to refine and just denoise it a bit. I'm going to open up the correction. And this is where all the magic will begin in a minute. I'm just going to bring that down. Bring that up so we can get a nice solid white on there. Now, uh, we're going to go to color black just to make sure it's okay. Uh, color gray, just make sure it's okay. And then what we can do, guys, is um, let's play around with that just a bit more. Now, when we come down to our color palette, I can, say, for instance, go up to a red, like so, and punch that right up. And then when I come out of this, as you can see, we're slowly changing the look um, of the marquee. And we can go down to our um, color wheels and we can sort of play around with our color correction after that. Let me just come out of that. Uh, let's just undo that. Undo, right. Um, sorry about that. So here we can play around with the noise um, levels um, every time you um, go into it um, it will give you this uh, sort of keying look and then we could just sort of play around with it punch it right up All right so and just make sure we get the color that's required and then what we can do is we can punch the temperature up on it let's just get rid of that uh, we can punch the temperature up on it obviously there's a lot of finessing that has to be done within here but that is just done by this section here just just playing around with it uh, and just getting it to the look that you want but it's a very easy way of getting uh, the results that you want and the beauty of it it automatically tracks everything um, absolutely perfectly so as you can see we've got it there and there and all we do is all it is is basically just tweaking really um, so I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip tutorial um, if you have a like rating would be appreciated and I'll definitely catch you in the next tutorial ciao ciao